Hey guys, a viewer wants to know what the astrological sign of Scorpio has to do with the death card and tarot. That's actually a great example of correspondences. And if I'm making no sense to you, please stay tuned and see what the heck I'm talking about. Even if you have no interest in astrology or tarot, this may help you to understand animism, the elements, and magic. Hey, it's Laura Giles with Pan Society. If this or any other pan video inspires you, please consider sending a one-time donation by hitting that link below. If that's not within your budget right now, you can show some love by hitting the like button or writing me a comment. Thanks for tuning in. All right, so first let's talk about what correspondences are. The correspondences are energies that are harmonious. Or not harmonious, <laughs> they're energies, relationships of energies. So we might be talking about the elements of air, earth, fire, and water, the zodiac signs or planets or things like that. Those are the main ones, but it could include other things too. Everything has an energy. And when you're looking for patterns or working with rituals, magic, or even making medicine, you want to work with things that have harmonious energy so that they complement each other and make each other stronger. Got it? So let's look at the Scorpio death card connection. So the sun is in Scorpio roughly October 23rd to November 22nd. And this is often seen as the pagan end of the year and the beginning of the new year. So it's a time of endings, death, transition. So the date connection is pretty clear, right? Scorpio is the death time. And this period is also the time of Halloween. It's the season for ancestors and spirits to visit. Death is a doorway between this life and the next. So if the death card shows up, it might be about spirit visitations or being in transition or things changing. And if the question involves the time period, it might mean fall. And the season for Scorpio is fall. Fall is the time when things die, leaves fall, food is harvested and the land goes fallow. So more death. Scorpio is destructive. So is death. Although the other side of that is rebirth. Um, Scorpio is also sex and through sex we have new life. Scorpio is detached, so is death. Death comes to all, it doesn't care, it doesn't discriminate. Scorpio is a water sign. Water is feminine, soft, yielding, emotional, secretive, hidden. It involves the unconscious, and death is a place of unconsciousness, or at least it appears that way to us. It's unknowable, like some facets of water. All this might sound like doom and gloom, but the purpose is always transformation and growth. It's a doorway to new beginnings. So Scorpio tends to look really scary, but it's more about what's unknown. Learning to walk through the darkness is a real confidence booster. Now, if all this sounds really confusing to you, you might just be tempted to look up what the correspondences are for things like herbs, trees, colors, elements, or whatever. You can do that, but the better way, the animus way, is to get to know all this um, by using your own observations and feel your way. In this way, you'll have an intuitive sense of knowing it and you'll start to um, make it second nature. Um, so you feel it in your bones, not just know it in your head. And you can tell if a certain species of tree is masculine or feminine. You'll be able to tell what element is dominant in an herb, what zodiac sign is associated with which energies, what colors, scents, or crystals works best within a ritual for love, money, or security. And when you work with energy, things flow. When you work against it or just use your will to do things in ignorance, they might not turn out so harmoniously. It's like cooking. Not all herbs go together. Or maybe the ratios need to be adjusted so that one doesn't overpower another one. And that's how correspondences work too. In the animus world, it's all about relationships. So I hope that this gets you started in seeing those relationships. If you haven't already caught on to that, thanks so much for the question. Keep them coming and thanks for tuning in. Ciao!